back to my channel for today's video. I'm doing a vlog with you guys. I've been really getting into vlogging lately. I don't know why, but like any day that I'm not vlogging, it just, it feels like morally wrong inside. But that said, I have been vlogging the last two days. Gonna be vlogging today and vlogging for the rest of the week because it is the first week of January and today's video is gonna be all about the new habits that I'm trying to deeply ingrain into myself for the new year. As if we haven't already done enough new year related content, I'm back at it with another vlog. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the first week of basically my new year's resolutions. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, I actually posted all of my 2018 resolutions to my blog, which I will put a link to down below. Oh, like, come here. The people want to see you. Come in the video. So if you guys wanna read up on my resolutions, because there's a few of them that I can't do in this video because they're not necessarily habits, they're more like things I wanna do, definitely go check that out. This week, the main things that I was trying to focus on is incorporating daily meditation, going to bed at 11 and waking up at seven, which is been the biggest one I've had to struggle with. Working out five times a week, writing every day, going to yoga once this week, cooking all of my meals, I'm getting no takeout this week. Anything I'm craving that day, I have to make from home and try and make it as healthy as possible, so I've been cooking. And then just overall, some little things that I can do this week that contribute to my overall big goals for 2018. They might not be like daily habits, but things like researching condos, researching podcasts, um, working on Dreamcatcher, things like that. So that, that that's what I've been documenting. I'm currently on the third day of all of these these daily habits and so far everything is going pretty well the only thing that I haven't done is going to sleep at 11 and waking up at 7 that one that one we need to fix but all the other ones have been going pretty well so right now I'm just about to start my work day and I have a pretty heavy workload today and a lot of things that have been kind of stressing me out that I really need to do so before I do anything the first thing I want to do today is my meditation just to kind of go in to like a work headspace, feeling a little bit more calm and not so, like not acting so much out of stress, but instead acting from more of a place of like calm and collective and cool energy. I think for today's meditation, I'm gonna use the headspace app. The very first day I did my meditation via tarot cards. I think I told you guys that I got tarot cards for Christmas from my sister. And so that's kind of how I decided to meditate on the first day. For me, meditation is just anything that helps you kind of just like play through your mind or just like take a break and, and feel just like connected within if that makes sense and so so that's how I decided to meditate on the first day and then last night I did my meditation with the new app headspace unsponsored just totally recommended to me by multiple people just one more time you know this time, okay, I cannot, I can't film eyes. while I do this. So I've decided to try that out for days that I want to do more like guided meditations. So I did one last night and I felt amazing afterwards. So before I basically enter work mode for the day, I'm going to do a quick 10 minute headspace meditation. So I've been using the AirPods that Greg got me for Christmas when I do these meditations because I feel like playing them out loud, sometimes I can hear too much outside noise. The other thing about the Headspace app is it tells you that it's better if you're sitting down, but meditation or anything in life is what you make of it. So for instance, like, I, I don't know, I just like meditating laying down. I feel like it's easier for me to relax into like the floor or into my bed than it is for me to be sitting because I'm very conscious all the time of like hunching my back. So that's a really long explanation as to why I think it's okay to lay down when you meditate, but I'm going to do a quick 10 minutes of these. I cannot do this while filming because I'm very aware that there's a camera on me. I'm gonna pop these bad boys in, do the meditation. I'll be back to update you. Okay, so that's two days in a row. And I have to say, sometimes the guy's voice starts to bother me because I'll end up getting into these really cool like head places. I'm very like calm, I'm very at ease, or like I, I see something, like I'm like, kind of in a happy place. And then his voice comes through and I'm like, no! I should have done the Headspace app in my meditation challenge. Maybe I'll do a new one, but damn. They're really, really good. They're really good for like helping you relax in the moment and like be in connection with where you are and let your brain just kind of float and, and see what thoughts come to you and let them pass. He brings you back into like reality again and it's just, you feel so calm and insanely like, like I feel so insanely connected now. It sounds so cliche, but it's true. So now I'm gonna make myself a coffee so I can combine that calmness with a little bit of gist juice so that I have the perfect duo to start getting stuff done today.
close to five. There's still a few more things that I need to do, but I have about an hour right now. So I figure I'm going to go ahead and do my writing for the day. This lighting's bothering me too much. Oh my god, that's so much better. So one of the other really important daily habits that I wanted to start ingraining into my everyday routine is writing every day, whether it's you know, writing in my journal, writing a poem, writing music, writing uh, my blog, writing something for my books, like anything like that. I basically just want to ingrain the habit of writing something every single day, even if it sucks. I honestly love writing. It's something that I've done for as long as I can remember. When I stop writing, I notice that it actually starts to affect like a lot of my happiness and even just a lot of my creativity. So I think with making it a habit to write something every day, even if it's not perfect. It kind of breaks that like thought process where I put too much pressure on what I'm writing that I stop myself from actually writing. I think the first day I just wrote in my journal and then last night I went through my yearly horoscope and wrote out like a lot of the stuff about it into my journal and I'm not feeling like journaling right now. So I'm just gonna work on my blog. If you guys didn't know, I've been posting a lot more to my blog now and blog posts go up every single Friday. I don't think that this blog post that I'm about to write will be live by the time this video is. But if you end up creeping my blog, maybe Maybe in the next week or so you'll see it. to take a clip while I was running but it is the first run of the new year and I I just ran do that see that right there that was my fastest five kilometers um there was one point that I thought I was kind of maybe gonna throw up so I slowed down a little bit but had I not slowed down I think I could have ran it in 25 so that's gonna be my goal possibly for tomorrow if I don't do hot yoga but I'm very I'm very pleased first run of the new year and it's my fastest 5k track pretty good pretty good start to 2018 if you ask me just a few hours ago and right now I'm actually just throwing on my runners and my workout gear to go for a run I am like I'm feeling very very tired I slept in a bit today because it's Saturday ow and I could have kept sleeping for like ever I ended up making myself get up at like 9 I'm gonna go for my workout right now which will be my fifth workout of the week god bless 25 bucks in my knee jar to spend some research on some stuff I want to do today for my bigger goals because a lot of that got pushed off throughout the week I did some research on condos but I want to research the things on podcasts. I'm gonna share with you guys what I've been reading all week. Today actually marks the one full year that I've been living in Toronto. Tonight, instead of tomorrow night being my takeout night, I think tonight's gonna to be the first night that I don't make a meal at home. 
Greg and I might go to the restaurant that I went to the very first night I moved in. So that might be the only break in my habits for this video. I'm just going to do a 5k however long that takes me. I'm not going to try and force myself to do like a super fast 5k. So that's going to be today's workout and then I'll touch back with you guys when we move on to the next habit of the week. So I'm now about to partake in the meditation portion of today's habit forming. The meditation, I, I think I've just jumped fully over into headspace because even though like I found the tarot cards and, and stuff kind of like my own form of meditation, the Headspace app I definitely have found to make the biggest difference. So I've been doing them for about 10 minutes a day and honestly I've found this to be one of the biggest habits that I've formed this week that I think is making the biggest difference. Every single time I do one I feel so... I just feel so like weightless afterwards. Things that I would normally be very stressed about this week are like not bothering me as much. And I especially find that the meditation has been helping when I feel like I can't really focus. The only thing is that I, I, I truly cannot, I cannot vlog myself doing this because I'm so aware of the fact that I'm filming. So we'll be back. I'm hoping that you understand. You ain't the man to tell you in demand. Just pray to God we keep you in the plan. You ain't the man to tell you when it's dark, but I've been on a mission since the day we brought up. Every time we drop in and we know they thought of ways to bring me down, but when they hit on hear a sound, guess that's the way you gotta act when I've been real, I've been around. Be on my own now. I got a team on my own now. I don't know where to go now, but I know where I've been. So what you trying to do? Still coming for the squad and boy you by the lows. So it's now officially Sunday, January 7th, which means yes, it is a gist day and I have very well been gisting. I have a few more hours left to do some cleaning. I need to finish off some laundry and then I'm actually gonna do some of the bigger term goals that I was talking about earlier, like um, cleaning off my bathtub, like scrubbing the crap out of my bathtub. I'm doing that today. I'm also reading my second book of 2018. I finished this book this week. It was Big Magic. One of the other big resolutions I have is to read two books every single month i.e. a book every two weeks. So I actually ripped through this one so quickly. It's called Big Magic, Creative Living Beyond Fear by Elizabeth Gilbert. She also wrote Eat, Pray, Love. You need, like you need to get it. You need to read it. It is the most amazing thing. I ripped through it so quickly. And now I'm also reading, I like to read a fiction and a nonfiction at the same time. So now I'm just trying to finish off Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And yeah, I also picked up some new books, but I think they're going to be in a 2018 reading list or a, they're going to be in another video. So I'm not going to show you. But that, 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 I mean, that's pretty much it. There you have it folks. That was my first week of resolutions turned into habits. Definitely miserably failed on going to bed at 11 waking up at 7. That's going to be the biggest one that I think I need to work on. If you don't make your habit a daily thing it's not going to deeply ingrain. Like the first two nights that I didn't go to bed at 11 it made it so that the rest of the week I was like whatever I didn't do it the first two days. The ones that I did every single day it was like if I stop now then I'm, I'm gonna lose my daily streak. I've also done a whole video before on habits which I will link up on the screen or put down below. Aside from that, I feel like this video is already going to be pretty long, so I will let you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this little habit challenge first week of the new year. Did you guys stick to your new year's resolutions this week or have you already tanked them like my 11 p.m. 7 a.m.? And other than that, I love you guys to the moon back and I will see you guys all in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.